Hello and welcome to the RM Network. Today we are talking about the 2019 iteration of The Lion King. Now this live action, but not really live action remake was directed by Jon Favreau, the director of 2016's The Jungle Book, and stars Donald Glover, Beyonce, James Earl Jones, Chiatel Edgy of Four, John Oliver, Seth Rogen, and those are just the ones I can think of off the top of my head. This is a stellar cast. And tells the story of Simba, a young cub. You know what? You've all seen The Lion King. We're just going to kind of get into it. You know the story. It's the exact same thing as before. Now let's just dive into this remake and decide whether or not it was a successful adaptation. The first thing I want to talk about, and is the thing that everybody wants to talk about, and I just kind of want to get it out of the way, it's the effects. This is absolutely gorgeous. If this doesn't win Best VFX at the Oscars this year, I don't know what will. I joked earlier about how this is live action, but not really live action, and that's because it looks live action. I don't know what technology they're using, but this movie, it feels like you are in Africa. It feels like there are actual lions talking to you, and it was gorgeous start to finish. I don't know if there are any parts of this that were actually live action, and that is just a testament to this movie and how gorgeous it looks. It is photorealistic. It is shocking. Without having looked at any other real reviews, I know that people are split on this movie, and I'm really curious why. This movie is as close to actually remaking a film shot for shot you're gonna get while just updating the CGI. I don't know if people were expecting new beats in this story, but I personally love the original Lion King, it's my favorite Disney animated film of all time, and I thought that this was a very successful adaptation of that. It keeps everything I loved about the original. It keeps the heart. It keeps the passion. It keeps the story and the songs that we grew up loving. I thought throughout the whole film, for the most part, the voice cast did an entire job. And when I say for the most part, there were just two little things that stuck out to me personally. The first of which being James Earl Jones. And this kind of happened with Darth Vader as well, where you can clearly tell that there's age in his voice that wasn't there in the original. In the original, he had such a pounding, powerful, commanding voice that would shake mountains. And in this one, it was the voice of a man that used to have that voice and is now just a little older. It was still great to hear him back as Mufasa. I'm just starting to hear the age in him a little more. And my other little gripe with the voice cast was Chiatel Edgy Ford as Scar. Now, don't get me wrong, he did a terrific job, but there's just something so iconic about Jeremy Irons. He has such a rich, silky voice that really brings this fear and menace to Scar. And Chiatel Edgy Ford, while he does his best, and I think he does a good job, just doesn't give off that maniacal voice that Jeremy Irons brought to Scar. Besides that, my only other real gripe with the movie just happened to be the color palette. Now, I know when you're doing 2D animation like the original Lion King, you can make it much more vibrant, much more colorful. And with this, I understand that they wanted to go for this very realistic look. And it sometimes it was gorgeous, but at other times it felt like a lot of yellows and browns as would be completely realistic. Now don't get me wrong, the CGI across the board was phenomenal, everything looked photorealistic. It was just, I miss some of the vibrant colors that the original animated film gave us that this just couldn't do. But besides that, I thought this was another very successful retelling of The Lion King. I really dug this movie. I'm going to be interested to see going forward if younger kids are going to grow up on this one or the 90s original I think that they can do both, but I really enjoyed this, and I can't wait to see where Disney goes next with their live-action remakes. But that is it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, comment, have you seen the new Lion King? Are you interested in seeing it? If you have seen it, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and when you do subscribe, make sure you hit that little bell icon. It'll notify you when new videos of ours come up. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Rich underscore Mahalski, and make sure you follow the network on Instagram and Twitter at the RM Network. All of those links can be found in the description box. Go give them a follow. Go give them a share. And thank you so much for watching this video and every video we put out here. I'll see you next time.